I'm do a quick sneak peek of Newcastle Central Station. I'm not going to go a whole bunch on this stuff here. Uh, this was actually on the same night that I had done the previous video where I led the Pico track, uh, that final part of the Pico Flex track. Uh, I glued that down. Um, right after that, I then moved on to doing the men's bus power. I was very excited to get going, and there's a very good reason for that. And train going is because we now actually have trains going on the track. That was one of the HSTs. Let's see if we can bring down another one of the HSTs. This is then uh, HST and Swallow. Slow them down a little bit. I do like that one. That was uh, actually the first one. It was probably the first one they got. Then I got that one in Swallow. And then I got this guy. Bring him down. This is uh, Swallow Black rather than Swallow Gray. Um, this one I got mint in box. Um, both him and the dummy car and the coach. Uh, they were mint in box. That basically hadn't been used at all. And then we also have coming down on. Uh, I'm classing as a freight line right now, um, just to keep it a little bit separate. This is on the near side track. As a class 50, I'm going to stop this one. This one I'm uh, very happy about. This one. This was actually my boyhood train. This was probably the very first train that I had. I think it was the Midnight Freight, Midnight Express, uh, Hornby box set, something like that. I remember getting that at Christmas when I was. I'll give my age away. Five, maybe five or six, something like that. In the mid 80s. Um, so this one is now being upgraded to DCC power. So all I really have, uh, let's try and move the camera around, all I really have um, you know, is the section of the track from here uh, down what would be uh, you know, a tiny yard, we're calling it. And I've got feed lines all the way down in about here. You can see some of the shinies uh, moving around as those are all sold it in. Um, the actual, only actual connection that I have for bus power uh, is right in here. This, this one, that's the only one that I've got done so far. Um, I'm actually putting in bus power droppers, feeder wires into the bus power on pretty much every length of flex track, so probably is every three feet. Uh, at the most every three feet. Um, but yeah, so far that's actually able to power all of this section of track, which means that uh, you did a pretty decent job putting those joiners on and uh, yeah quite happy with how all of that's running. It'll be a little bit of while now before I can get all of the feeder wires done so if we look under here I've got all of the droppers in here um, and it's now starting to look like model trends over here especially with all those dropper wires coming in um, so it's going to take me a while to get all of this done and this is still without any of the point motors in place either yeah, so when you figure I still have all of this to do, this is going to take me a little while, but at least now, you know, we do have some excitement. We do actually have some trains you know, that we can move around quite happily. Let's take 58 out. Let's go and take Ooh, a little bit too fast to take him out. Let's take him out. And there we go. We'll probably stop them there. There we go. So thanks for watching. If you want to keep track uh, of things as we progress a little bit further, uh, once I get the rest of the electrics done, when I start putting in point motors, things like that, then uh, do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, it's always cool when people are uh, you know, watching, checking it out. Leave some comments if there's anything that uh, you've got suggestion-wise, tips-wise, as I start to move forward with all the electrical connections. Uh, I'd certainly appreciate it. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.